underneath your feet. Huh. And the God of peace will soon crush it. Yes, God will crush it. Where? What? Underneath what? your feet. Huh. Romans what? 16. What? It's Jonathan. Uh, I'm going to share a little devotional on following Jesus with the Old Testament. And uh, But first I'm going to start off with some prayer. Uh, thank you, Father, that you just love the campers, that you love me, that you're opening our eyes and our hearts to be so simply just proactive in seeking you out, that you're blessing this message so that 
open ears will understand and will believe and will see God. <sighs> Pray you'd bless the rest of the camp as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Cool. So, I'm going to be in Psalms 23, which is a very popular psalm. But the idea, what I want you to think about as you're listening to the psalm is... David's heart because it said that David has a king after the father's heart and Jesus was the perfect representation of the father's heart as well so I want you to think carefully about how Jesus being the perfect representation of the father's heart and David being a man after the father's heart how that reacts to what David is saying in the psalm how it all goes together so he writes the Lord is my shepherd I lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So when I think about the heart of David as he's writing this, I also just picture what Jesus would say, how similar it would be if he was writing as if he lived the life of David instead, which it almost sounds like heresy, but if you just take it and put it in perspective for a second. Um, just looking at how Jesus' heart or David's heart reflects the Father's heart. And ultimately, that's what we want. We want to reflect the Father's heart in all of our actions. And so I read things like, interesting things like your rod and your staff, they comfort me because we know God's power and in his power we're safe because we have a relationship. And David's heart and Jesus' heart are after relationship. So following him is ultimately about relationship more than just rights and wrongs and about do's and don'ts. So that's my meditation. Thank you for listening. I'm going to end in a word of prayer as well. <sighs> Thank you, God, that you guide our hearts, that you guide our minds, you guide our vision. I pray you'd help us to be very active in seeking out all the different details of who you are and what that means for us, God, thank you so much that you love us, that you're intimate with us day in and day out, and that you're helping us to be intimate with you, helping us to open up. We love you, God. You're so amazing. In Jesus' name, amen. We all have treasures we call our own. My Good night, camper!